magic word Here in the secret kindergarten The world's best show for kids is starting The secret kindergarten radio show Use your ears and your imagination We're going to play, we're having fun Hello, hello, hello! It's me, your friend, Gino! I'm your favorite host of the best young children's show. I want you to grow in the direction you want to go. So if someone wants to stop you, then use your magic word. The magic word is NO! And I want to read you a little poem about perseverance. What is perseverance, you ask? Well, we'll find out in this poem called Persevere. The fisher who draws in his net too soon won't have any fish to sell. The child who shuts up his book too soon won't learn any lessons well. If you would have your learning stay, be patient, don't learn too fast. The man who travels a mile each day may get round the world at last. And that's right! Don't learn too fast! Don't let people make you do heaps of learning! Just do lots of play! Speaking of play, let's play some music by Nancy Stewart from nancymusic.com It's 
it's a good thing to wiggle and squirm. Time it is! <laughs> it's freeze game time! So let's get moving! <laughs> when is the music gonna stop? You tell me. No, I'll tell you. Hey, I got you! So get moving! And freeze when the music stops! Oh! Okay, 
Gloria, les quedo aquí. Cut those shapes. You're lucky this isn't on video. Ho ho ho! Bet you didn't see that one coming. He dance like a robot? I'm dancing like one of Elon Musk's failed AI experiments. Oh, you got comfortable and you missed the freeze. Move your spine. It's good for your mind. And freeze. Ah, uh, just kidding. Oh, did you catch it? Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, did you catch that one? Shake it up! Oh! Man, if I keep doing this game every week... Boy, oh boy. Justin Timberlake better watch out! This is real learning. Moving that body. Listening to music and dancing. Okay, we're gonna do two more freezers. When are they coming up? Oh, I ruined the climb. Okay, there's one more to go. Are you ready? Dance like there's no tomorrow. Oh, that wasn't it.
freeze. How long can you freeze for? You still frozen? I'm still frozen. I'm getting a sore arm. My robot arm. And relax. Okay. Woo, you did well. Woo. All that robot dancing. Well, it took it out of me. Okay. It's story time now. Okay, this one is literally <laughs> this is an epic story <laughs> okay this one is called far away and long ago and it's from the children of odin the book of northern myths by patrick Collum. so this is pretty hard out so buckle up for this one here we go once there was another sun and another moon a different sun and a different moon from the ones we see now Sol was the name of that sun and Mani was the name of that moon but always behind Sol and Mani wolves went a wolf behind each the wolves caught on them at last and they devoured Sol and Mani and then the world was in darkness and cold. In those times the gods lived, Odin and Thor, Hodur and Baldur, Tyr and Heimdall, Vida and Vali, as well as Loki, the doer of good and the doer of evil. And the beautiful goddesses were living then, Frigga, Freya, Nana, Iduna, and Sif. But in the days when the sun and moon were destroyed, the gods were destroyed too. All the gods except Baldur, who had died before that time, Vidar and Vali, the sons of Odin, and Modi and Magni, the sons of Thor. At that time too, there were men and women in the world. But before the sun and the moon were devoured, and before the gods were destroyed, terrible things happened in the world. Snow fell on the four corners of the earth, and kept on falling for three seasons. Winds came and blew everything away. And the people of the world who had lived on in spite of the snow and the cold and the winds fought each other, brother killing brother, until all the people were destroyed. Also, there was another earth at the time. An earth green and beautiful. But the terrible winds that blew leveled down forests and hills and dwellings. Then fire came and burnt the earth. There was darkness, for the sun and the moon were devoured. The gods had met with their doom. And the time in which all these things happened was called Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. Then a new sun and a new moon appeared and went traveling through the heavens. They were more lovely than Sol and Mani, and no wolves followed behind them in chase. The earth became green and beautiful again, and in a deep forest that the fire had not burnt, a woman and a man wakened up. They had been hidden there by Odin and left to sleep during Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. Lif was the woman's name and Lifthrazer was the man's. They moved through the world, and their children and their children's children made people for the new earth. And of the gods were left Vidar and Vali, the sons of Odin, and Modi and Magni, the sons of Thor. 
On the new earth, Veda and Vali found tablets that the older gods had written on and had left there for them. Tablets telling of all that had happened before Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. And the people who lived after Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods, were not troubled. As the people in the older days were troubled by the terrible things who had brought destruction upon the world and upon men and women, and who from the beginning had waged war upon the gods. Phew! Now that was a big story. Can you imagine that? A different sun and a different moon? I feel like we're missing some music already. So let's play some more music by Nancy Stewart from nancymusic.com. On a moonlit night when the stars are
and we're coming up to the end of another half hour of the Secret Kindergarten Radio Show. I'm going to read Persevere one more time, okay? Ready? The fisher who draws in his net too soon won't have any fish to sell. The child who shuts up his book too soon won't learn any lessons well. Okay, well that's half of it, but we've run out of time. Keep trying, keep going, keep playing. Bye!